hi guys and welcome back to another video if you're wondering what i'm doing i'm just taking off the mascara that i have on my eyes i'm basically getting ready i just finished my night shift no rest for the wicked um and i'm just getting ready because i'm at meadow hall car park i'm at meadow hall car park <laughs> i don't even know if you can see right so yeah i'm getting ready here because obviously where else am i gonna get ready really so basically i have a campaign with flannel i'm gonna go in and pick up some beauty bits um so yeah it should be good and i'll try and record as much as i can don't know how much that's gonna be i'm done at flannels i'm gonna go back home and I need to get my Eid clothes because Eid is on Friday and it is Monday, Sunday, today. And I don't have any days off for me to go and get my Eid clothes. Ready in my car. And we'll see. Oh, last time I got ready in my car was on my nursing ball. And it was, it was just a madness. I shall see you guys once I'm ready. I've got my makeup bag here. And yeah, this guy is probably thinking, what is she doing? Because <laughs> I'm literally in the car park, all of my own, at the back, like an absolute weirdo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm a new woman. I'm a completely different woman now with my full face on <laughs> so i'm ready and yeah i'm gonna go in a bit i've still got a bit of time i don't want to go too early but yeah i shall take you guys with me i just did my normal makeup nothing too fancy man shamancy and <sighs> yeah it's a very loud morning a bit too loud to flannels. I don't know where it is so I'll probably end up getting lost. It's alright. What can I do? I'm glad that it's in the morning because it's dead out and no one's here to watch me vlog on my own. I always do it when my friends are about because I feel so much more comfortable but if I'm doing it on my own I don't know I just feel so uncomfortable. I need to get used to it because yeah I think it's this way. I don't know what I'm gonna pick out yet so we'll see what they have at Flannels Beauty they have like this new thing where you can like basically hire out the room a makeup room so you're on your own and you can like test out the makeup that you want to try so yeah so guys I'm in Flannels and this is a booth right and let me just show you guys how sick this booth is so you have like your own private booth where if you don't feel comfortable out there to do your makeup you can come in here and bring it in with you they have all these you know bits and bobs and the best thing about this whole thing is this push the pedal to the to the floor to capture there's this pedal right here I'm going to push it it's oh it takes a picture just look at that how freaking cool is that and then it gives you a qr code so that you can keep it on your phone as well and not only is the lighting sick but this i have i've not even looked at the makeup i've been in the i've been in the booth all this time doing this once I'm done with this booth, I'm going to go back out there and basically pick out some makeup products that I want to try. And I do have a couple things in mind. Um, one being Charlotte Tilbury. I have not owned a Charlotte Tilbury product as of yet. And that's going to change today. So, you guys will see what I get. So these are one of the things that I want to get from Charlotte Tilbury. Their flawless filter. I've seen so many people use this, so many people rave about it. 
So I think it's time for me to try it now. From the swatches, I think the best one is going to be 5 tan because 4.5 medium is still on the lighter side and I think it's better to go with like a shade darker than rather than a shade lighter. So I'm going to get 5 tan and what I'm also going to get is their powder, their pressed powder because I've seen so many people use that as well. So we're stocking up on the Charlotte Tilbury, that's for sure. Even the magic cream. Magic cream. Spoiled for choice. I'm actually spoiled for choice. Oh my god. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh that feels really nice. So I'm at DR and they don't have this like out on display but I think I'm gonna get the four warm if it's in stock because it's a pretty good match and I've heard so many good things about this so yeah we'll see so it's 30 I bought a Dior foundation and then I got a Natasha Denona palette it's so pretty I'll show you which one I got I got this one and I swatched this shade there and I'll show you guys it's so stunning oh my yeah. god I was in two minds it was either this palette or this one but I ended up choosing this one so I've just joined into a master class unexpected <laughs> she's trying to hide up the camera <laughs> but um yeah we'll see how that goes I'm gonna go back to my car now because I feel like I've spent too much time here and leaving the master class a bit early. But yeah, I've got things to do today, places to go, and yeah, I'm a busy woman because. So basically my shifts are really crap this week so i was on two nights came off this morning and then tomorrow i'm back on because um, i've got like training basically tomorrow and the day after and then i've got one day off and then i'm back on again and i don't really get like a proper day off after my nights so it's a bit of a mad week shall we say but yeah I need to go back home, I need to get my Eid clothes um, and then something else. I need to film today as well. And yeah, it's just a bit manic really. People are looking at me I'm vlogging. What can you do? Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna go back to my car. Right, I'm back in the car and it is hot in this car. Off I pop, back to Bradford. Oh, actually, let me show you guys what I got. We got. I went and got the NARS concealer. This used to be so raved about before, and I still haven't tried it. So I thought, let me try it. Better late than never. And then, as you guys saw, I popped into Charlotte Tilbury. I got their flawless filter. I got their powder, and I went back and bought a blush as well. I got what's it called? pillow talk pink pop so that's what i got and then i got two mac lip liners stripped down and cork obviously and then i went into dior as well and i got their um what's it called their foundation backstage foundation this was also raved about a lot as well it's very very popular and a lot of professionals use this so i wanted to give it a go we have that i also got a natasha denona palette which i'm very excited about the shimmers beautiful let me tell you beautiful so i can't wait to use all of this stuff it's gonna it's gonna be fun filming this video 
Are you ready to see how busy Plaza is? Oh my god, it's gonna be so busy. Look how many cars there are. Do you know what? Considering there's like five days left, six days, five days, there's not like as many people. But the last few days, is, it's always rampacked. Always rampacked. So if you've never been Plaza, it's literally like a whole circle full of shops. And then it's a fight to find spaces. You'll never catch me vlogging in Bradford. I thought, do you know what? F it, I'm gonna vlog, but not in Bradford, I can't, I can't. It's too many, too many people. Any other city give me, I don't mind. But Plaza is a no. So I found a parking, and I'm gonna go do some eat shopping. I'll take you guys with me and if I can get a couple of clips then I shall get a couple of clips there's people in cars in front of me I don't want them to see me <sighs> oh, but anyways yeah right it got really busy I'm not joking guys when I say I go around that place about 10 times I go around that place about 10 times this is my routine I start from the shops on the right and make my way all the way around I take pictures of the outfits that I like and then I look at them and then I'll go back and like get whichever one. I could I could have gone to another place because there's a new place as well where there's quite a few shops, but I just can't be bothered. I just wanna go home at this point, not gonna lie. Um backing out. Make me crash. Right guys, I'm back home, as you can tell. Now what I'm gonna do is take all my makeup off and film i'm not going to show you my eid clothes because that's going to be shown on eid day yeah i basically got everything i got my outfit i got my scarf i got jewelry i wanted some like simple bangles but i couldn't find any nice ones anyways um if i have time on thursday i'll probably get some then but if i don't then i don't um but yeah guys do you know with my suit right so it basically it was 65 pounds 65 pounds there's no beading nothing on it and i told her when i was like 65 i was like nothing lower that's fixed price she was like yeah yeah and then she was like 60 cash and i was like 55 cash and then she was like no and i was like but another shop it has more beading on their clothes and it's cheaper she was like which shop i was like that shop over there she's like no no 60 cash and i was like come on 55 so i was like trying to haggle haggle she was like proper stuck on like 60 and then the woman next to her she was like they were talking in their language and i could tell that the other woman was like just give it but the other one she was proper being stuck on 60 and then she was like no 60 60 and then at that point i was like okay so I turned around and I just went on my phone and I just, I was just playing mind games with her. So I went on my phone, yeah, because I knew, I just knew if I did that. Five minutes later, she was say, okay, 55. So I was on my phone, I was just uh, there standing, 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 waiting for her to say it. And then she was like, excuse me. And then I turned around and she didn't say anything. And then I just carried on standing because I knew she said it to me. I carried on standing, standing, standing. And then she said it again. And then I turned around she was like, okay, 55 cash. So, just saved myself £10. Every penny counts, okay? So, yeah. It was so busy today. There were so many coppers outside. I probably drove past about five or six. But anyways, I'm home now. And they put two new cameras on um, Shipley Airedale Road as well, at the top. So yeah no one can bomb me down them roads anymore i can't either anymore that's so sad but yeah that was my day 
and i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i'm gonna leave it here because i'm not really gonna do much for the rest of the day so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog with just me myself and i i don't think i've done that in ages because i've always been my friends doing it um and i know i didn't vlog much in bradford but i shall never do that ever not i don't have the confidence to do that so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel now um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye